guys. Um, thought I would show you today quite a useful application called Llama. See just there. Um, basically Llama is sort of a profiling app really. Um, it's all about automating certain actions on your phone. So now we're in the app you can see we have areas, events, profiles and recent. So I suppose profile is probably as good a place as anywhere to start. Um, we have different profiles here, car, loud, normal, silent, vibrate. I believe the only two I use actually are normal and vibrate. Um, I don't even really use the car one. So in within the actual profiles, how do we have a look at them? Edit profile. So within the profile itself, we get to name it obviously. Change ring, so we say we can enable things or un, un enable uh, certain actions to happen when this profile is activated. Do I want the ring ringtone volume to change? Yes, I do. What do I want to change it to? Full volume. Um, I won't go through everything, but you can have a look there and you can see all the different options, including changing the icon. So if you do have the icon, some you can have the icon showing up in the notification bar, for example. Um, so I think, I think, hopefully, you're happy enough with that. Oh, yeah, anyway. Um, and likewise in, in vibrate, change it, yes, change the ringtone to zero. Oh, uh, yes, start it, set it to vibrate. On so you get the idea there, setting the profiles. Um, one of the, probably the next thing, what have I got there? No, never, no, okie dokie. Um, the next thing perhaps to look at is the areas. So uh, at the moment it knows that I'm at home. It recognizes four cell towers around me, if that focuses, which is how that it knows I'm at home. Um, it's got, when I'm at work, there's six different cell towers that it recognizes. So when I say it recognizes, obviously the, uh, the, the, the cell tower is what the phone connects to for text messaging, well, for everything, text messaging calls and data. Um, and each one has its own signature, I suppose. The phone knows that signature and knows where that cell tower is. So therefore, when it can connect to two or three or four different cell towers, when it sort of uh, sees them around it, it can give a reasonably good guess as to where it is. And when I say reasonably good guess, it's nothing like GPS, obviously. It's kind of, it could be as broad as, I don't think I've been about a mile away and it's still thought I'm at home. Because obviously if, if one of the cell towers is, let's say, a mile north of me, um, and it recognizes that cell tower, and when I connect to that cell tower, it says I'm at home. So if I travel to that cell tower, and then a, a, a mile further north, there's a good chance it's still gonna think I'm at home, because it's that, that same cell tower. Uh, why doesn't it use GPS, you may ask? Well, just because of the power difference. The, the, for it to, to use the cell towers, we'll not really use anything at all. It's always, it's, you know, it has to use the cell towers, unless you go into airplane mode. Um, it has to sort of connect to cell towers, therefore you're not really asking it to do any extra operations or use any inf or find any information out that it doesn't already have. Um, so to add an area, you just click the little plus, you can put in whatever name, so like I've got like Jim or Mums or whatever, um, and then you can tell it to, and if we, if we hold down on that we can still get the same thing, start, is it going to focus for me? Start learning area for example, so I tap that and it says okay well how long do you want to be learning for and you can go right up to eight hours quite often, probably five minutes, it depends if you know you're going to be moving around, if it's a big building, if you know you're going to be moving around it for the next five minutes or ten minutes, that's what you select. So you select one of them, um, and then it just learns, so any, any cell towers it picks up, it adds into that location. Um, I think if we go to events, no, no, there we go, recent, so actually there were, oh no I did pop out, I went out to the, uh, the post office, so there were some cell towers if I think that one would have been while I was at the post office, and that was a good mile and a half away. Maybe not, maybe not. Um, but here you can see the different cell towers that I've been near in that time. Um, so I was still, I was travelling back home during these times, so I passed through a load of different cell towers, and then it gets to the ones that it recognises. Now you can say, actually that one, I know I was at home at that point, I can say add to area, I can either create a new area, or I can add it to one of the current ones. So that's how it does the location based stuff. So, so far we've seen the different profiles that we've set up and we've seen the different areas that, uh, that the device is going to recognize. 
we've also seen how we can kind of check the history. Also, if it's kind of switching in and out of profiles, you look at reason to see why. So maybe it started noticing a different cell tower. If you know you've been at home during this time, you can just add that to home. So here's the sort of the, the key bit, I suppose, the most important bit is the events. Um, and the events are, are just that. So when, when X happens, please do Y. Um, and you can set sort of, uh, well, you can see, look, so when at home and it's between 5.30 and, and 10 o'clock at night, change profile to normal and enable Wi-Fi. So some of these enable Wi-Fi's, enable Bluetooth's aren't built into the profiles, which uh, would have been useful. I think it actually probably explained why, um, why it can't, but, uh, but it's not. It's in the events bit, so you have to just remember to, to, to put that in when... Uh, when you set up your event. So at the bottom we've got, if we can see that, you've got the, the plus and so if you want to make a new event, you add a condition, you add an action. So for example, power connected, that's quite a simple one. Let's just go in and edit that event. So name a group, power connected. Oh, should it look for this? Yes. Charging status, charge from any source. So you get to say, oh, if it charges from, so for example, I've just started wirelessly charging. If I wanted something particular to happen when I'm charging wirelessly, like maybe, in fact, let's let's go ahead and do that. So let's say I'm gonna make a new one. The, the name is gonna be wireless charging. Um, I don't need to put it in a group, that's fine. I forget what's in the advanced. Delay event, no, we don't need to delay it for anything. Trigger filtering, no. So, add a condition. Do I need any extra conditions? Um, and here you see what they all are. So, I could say, well, you can even put things like day of the week. So, if it's just the week and if it's the week, uh, um, I suppose I could say if it was on mobile, so I'm thinking if I, when I start using this in my car um, and I don't want it to be sucking too much power, so let's say that, let's say, where did it go, mobile data connection, oh, that was telling me what it is, uh, so when it's mobile mobile data, so this is what I'm thinking is right in the car, and I could perhaps have said, oh, it's when it's uh, in car mode, but we'll go with that. So I'm wirelessly, oh, I have to add the condition of charging, where is it, charging or unplugged, so charging wirelessly. So those are my two conditions. Um, and then I need to add an action. So when those two conditions are met, what do I want to happen? And I'm thinking the screen brightness should drop. There it is, screen brightness. Uh, now I'm gonna say right the way down to 15%. So it's just giving me some warnings there. This is good. So. Uh, maybe the developer has been made aware. Oh, I've set this up and it doesn't work until I put a pad. So he's just putting these little things in telling you, look, please be aware, you might need to turn the screen on and off to actually do it. It's a bit of annoyance, but I don't, that won't necessarily happen to mine. It might only be like one particular phone that does it like that. But it's good that the, the warning is there because if I notice it happening, I know what to do. Um, I know the developer's aware and it's probably something that he can't do anything about, unfortunately. So. There we have our condition. Now what I'm gonna do, because I've kind of just thought of this on the fly, I'm gonna to have to go and grab something. So bear with me one second. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're actually gonna test this in action. So what I need to do first of all is turn off my Wi-Fi. And then I'm gonna drop it onto the pad. Which is plugged in, although that's not, why is that not? There we go, sorry, it wasn't. So what we should see, there we go. So that's turned from red to green. Hopefully you could see that. Did you see the brightness dropped? Let's let's have a look in there. There's brightness, it's come off auto, I should have shown you, it was on auto. If I let's, we can probably un, undo, undo our work. So we go back to auto. So obviously I turned Wi-Fi off purely just to, to um, yeah, sorry, we are, well, I connected, connect, made it connect to mobile data purely for this test. Obviously if I drive out in the car, even if I left Wi-Fi on, I'm gonna drive away from the house and it's gonna lose connection, the mobile data's gonna kick in. It'll realize it's, hopefully when I've got my car mount sorted, it'll realize it's charging wirelessly in the car. Well, not that it's in the car, just that it's not got the Wi-Fi. Uh, so now you can see, look, it's still got green for mobile data. So all of these different 
events, it shows you which bits are green and which are red, so which one it meets at this point and which one it doesn't. So yes, I'm at home, but no, it's not between midnight and 5.30, therefore it's not changing the profile to vibrate and enabling Wi-Fi. So right now, mobile data is connected, but it's not whilst it's charging. You see this, you see the screen brightness drop? So, I mean, that could, you could even say any time I'm charging wirelessly, because if I'm charging wirelessly at home, it's probably because I've gone to sleep, I've gone to bed, so maybe I could even just change that. I might, I might use that one. Uh, I, I might just get rid of the mobile, mobile data bit and just say if I'm charging wirelessly, drop my screen brightness right down to maybe even five for that matter. So if I wanted to change it, as I think you saw already, in, the, in I go, so I'm actually gonna say five. That's just to sort of emphasize, I'm sure you guys could could see, but just to emphasize, right, so there we go, we're back only meeting one of the conditions. There we go. So, um, I was now, I used to hear people talking about Lyme and I, I was never a huge, oh, what I should note or point out, when I come off, it's not gone back to normal. Now, I'm not entirely sure, I think, given a little bit of time, it will say, oh, hang on, we now meet the conditions of this particular one, um, therefore it will, it will set, mind you that one doesn't tell it to put the brightness back, so that might be one thing I could need to set up another one, oh dear, add a condition, and it might be, do you know what, actually right off the top of my head, I should have planned ahead, um, I can't think, I would need to set something up to say when I come out of that one, put the brightness back, so I need to have a think how you do that. Uh, maybe I'll drop in the comments, comments down below if, if I work it out. Um, I'm sure there must be a way, and it might be as simple as when, when, if I can't, let's why not? I hope you don't mind because it's getting a bit of a long video now. So let's do a new one. Return, return brightness. It's going to be a bit of a test. So a condition will just be not battery level. So let's just say using battery, an action will be, what do I want brightness, don't I? Oh. Screen brightness, auto. Okie dokie, okie dokie. So. Oh, where did it go that when battery goes below 50? I didn't, did I do that? To remove done so whoops so events I'm using battery set to auto brightness now we pop it on there the wind charging whilst he kicks in the brightness drops we come off do you see that straight away that went back to normal okay so I've been using it for quite a while now yeah I think I'd start to say a lot of people have mentioned how great it is, um, how handy it is. So for example, I come home, Wi-Fi turns on automatically. Um, I go to work, it turns off automatically. If I go to work, so at work between 7.30 and 9.15, change profile to vibrate. I never have to remember now to turn my phone to vibrate. I never have the embarrassment of being in a meeting and my phone starts ringing. Um, there are some things where you can have when leaving an area, do this, when leaving home, do this. I've got to be honest, I'm not actually sure those work. I've never really paid much attention to those ones, to be honest. Um, I do quite like, so you can see, you can give a specific device. So when connecting to JVC unit, change profile to car. So that's my car stereo. So when I plug in the power in the car, the fact that power's gone in means that power connector won't charge it and enable Bluetooth. So it Bluetooth turns on. It then automatically connects to the JVC unit, which means it then changes to the car profile. Whereas if I plug it in at home, Bluetooth comes on, but it doesn't connect to the car, so obviously it doesn't change the car unit. So, you know, it is it is quite clever. It's it's all pretty logical. If you have a logical thinking mind, I think there's some pretty useful things you can do. So as we just worked out on the fly, and I apologize, I probably should have prepared in advance, but it was quite easy for me to work out a condition that, that changes the battery, that uh, changes the brightness to very dim when it's charging, and then go back to normal when it's not. Um, so there you go, it's Llama, it's free on the Play Store. There is a donate, a donation, uh, or just an app really, ATP, which to be honest, I really should do, I suppose. I have 
and I've been using this now for, for quite a while and it is very, very handy. Uh, there are a few different add-ons, like I can see a map add-on for Llama, um, which I don't know you can, have a, you can have a play with, I don't bother with it, this does everything that I need. Um, but a really, really handy application. I apologise this video is really for, a, for just an app review, this really has gone on hasn't it? Um, but hopefully I've been able to show you the, the uses and the usefulness of Llama. My name's Andy, I'll catch you all again soon.